In this short video, I'm going to explain how we can use Chrome Developers Tools and the Performance section to understand key Web Vitals scores. Um, as an example, I'm using a product page from the Next website. They are not one of our clients, but it's a good example of an e-commerce product page. So first thing we need to do is launch Chrome DevTools. And if I want to go any further, I need to use the run command. And we need to enable rendering. And down here, I need to use the layout shift regions. So what we need to do now is just resize this. And I'm going to record. And I'm going to reload the page. And down at the bottom of the page, you'll see the page's profile is being built up. And once the profile is built, we've got a data set that appears at the bottom. So let's just move that up there. So the first thing I want to find is the largest contentful paint. So what I've done is I've done that too large. So if I click on that, you'll see it highlights the largest item on the page the browser had to display. And that will then tell us at what stage and how long into the process was that loaded. We then go to the event log down here. I'm going to filter and type in the word shift. And that will then explain all the different times the content shifted. And you'll see over here, as we select each one, it tells us what was actually moved and the location it was moved from. And then finally, at the bottom of the page, what we've also got is the total blocking time, which takes, of, which takes from the first Contentful Paint to the Time to Interactive. And while it, it's not the first input delay, that we is a web vital score it does tell us how soon how long did it take before so we could actually interact with the page and if we reload the page once more you'll see the items in blue are where the content is actually shifting around the page and that's part of the layout shift thank you very much